Hello friends and strangers on the internet, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with a coffee request. Thank you everybody who has been supporting me on my coffee page. I do appreciate you and everybody else who's just here on YouTube watching my reactions. I appreciate you as well. Today we are checking out the Warning Mayday in the Making documentary series. It has six parts. There are roughly five minutes each. I'm not actually sure how I'm planning to record this. I think I'm just going to do it all in one go and hope for the best. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, we're just going to jump into this. There Again, there are six episodes. It is coming to us from the Warnings Direct channel. I think Since I'm watching the playlist, I'm just going to link the playlist. That way, if, you know, anybody here who is a fan of the Warning has missed this and would like to check it out without my reaction, you can click the playlist uh, that will be in the original link section of my like description and that'll take you to the playlist I'm watching which is directly on the warnings channel and you can go from there to check out more of their music and more about them is it if this is your first experience uh, uh, discovering them or whatever I don't know if I mean honestly most of you who are here are here because you mean to be here so that's that's kind of what I'm expecting okay so we're gonna jump into this reaction i'm uh youtube is putting like weird shapes on my screen i don't know why anyway uh, let's jump into this the warning mayday in the making part one let's go Pelo bien. Primero, el nombre o los de que los nombres individuales o la banda o el. No. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No. Hi, hey, we're, we're the, the warning. warning. Okay, 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 yeah, okay, yeah. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniela. I'm Paulina. I'm Alejandra. And we are the, the warning. warning. Uh, This third album, I can honestly say with a lot of confidence, is that it's the best thing that we've ever done. The uh, new album, how to describe it, it's the warning on steroids. <laughs> they can all play their instruments like no one I've ever seen. If you listen to this album, you know this is a rock band. It's not a female rock band or mm. a young rock band. This is a rock band. And then they brought the demos. I was like, you guys are kidding me. It's like, do you ever write a bad song? <laughs> it's at another level. The warning at another level. And you know what? To answer his question, I don't think I've heard a single song by The Warning I didn't like. Like, not a single one. Maybe there is one, like, I mean, Let's be like for real for real like every single band I've ever really really loved has at least one song that I'm just kind of like eh about so I might find that with the warning eventually but so far I haven't found it so and I don't expect to find it anytime soon but there, it might happen you know I, I gotta be like like realistic about it but generally speaking I would say no the warning doesn't write any bad songs I took it back like five seconds let's go ahead and keep going <laughs> Working on the album with David and Rick was a little bit nerve-wracking at first because we know what we want to hear. I was really nervous that David was going to be like, no, I hate all of this and let's do something different. Like we were prepared to fight over our- I love how passionate Paulina looks when she's talking. Like, I don't know what it is. She just, she has this like light in her eyes when she's talking about like just music and the band and just everything. I just, I noticed that every time she just, re I guess they all do, but with Paulina, it's like, I don't know, it's like especially noticeable. They just, she just really lights up with a lot of passion and excitement and enthusiasm. It's just really great to see. Also, by the way, I'm noticing that my recording is skipping a little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure the audio is going to come out just fine, but the video seems to be skipping a little bit. I'm not sure why, but uh, ho hopefully um, it won't be too uh, off-putting in the end. Just thought I'd let y'all know that I am noticing it and I'm trying to um, stop it. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let's keep going. I'll take it back about five seconds so we can get maybe 10 so we can get Paulina's full full sentence there that I interrupted. Oh, what we want to hear. I was really nervous that David was going to be like, no, I hate all of this and mm -hmm. let's do something different. Like we were prepared to fight <laughs> over our songs. We literally told them like we are super peaky. Mm -hmm. Peaky, sorry, peaky. <laughs> You see how far you can push day one. 
and you started to talk about a song I didn't like. I said, I don't like this song. And I had three girls right up in my <laughs> face together. And they talk in Spanish. <laughs> Somewhere between uh, like the buddy system and gang mentality, in my opinion, <laughs> you know, um, they uh, they travel in a pack. <laughs> like, a, like a gang of, of, of lionesses circling the prey. <laughs> I think that if we were not sisters, like, this would have fallen apart so quickly. Having three girls being amazing, mm -hmm. talented musicians at such a young age, and then having those three girls be sisters and so connected, that doesn't happen. I can't believe that my daughter, like, one moment that that happened how? Mm. Being in a band with your family is great. We experience everything as a family that it'd be weird like to experience it alone and then come to my family like, oh my god, this happened. No, mm. it's like a thing. It happened to all of us. It always happens to all of us. I'm used to being in a room for three months with a band. This instance, I've never experienced it before. <laughs> I've never had the parents in the studio. <laughs> and then their manager came. <laughs> Now I've got the guardians. <laughs> I definitely didn't get to be me because I usually swear like a trooper and say all sorts of inappropriate things in the studio because nobody's filming me usually. I've never experienced anything like that and I probably never will again the rest of my Aww. career. That's fascinating. That's so fascinating to think about that like these young women are not only like changing the game for themselves but like for other people like this this man he seems like he's been in the industry a long time but for the very first time ever he's got like a family in the studio with the, like the talent as well as like a documentary crew with a camera and everything like that's kind of cool to think about how like they're game changing not just for themselves but for other people around them that are like helping that have helped this uh, vision come true for them that's just really cool to think about that like ripple effect you know I like it Anyway, let's keep going. You know, they're they're going to they're going to get where they want to go. Uh, they strike me as workaholics, and <laughs> uh, and they're on a mission. I mean, this is this is their dream, this is their destiny, and they're going to do it. Their best work yet. And that's not just because they're our daughters. That's an amazing feeling. A big big accomplishment for them. I mean, they've been through David Bendit boot camp. <laughs> I was going to for me. Wow. What a performance. Aww. Beautiful. Beautiful. What a voice. Somebody. What a special voice you have. She does have a special voice. I hold voice. a certain standard to the records I make. Of course, they, they're, they've almost earned a rite of passage in the sense that they played on their record everything. That's all them, you know. They did it, they played it, they killed it. When we started working with David, we just took it to like a whole new level. And we're so happy with the result. And I'm just super, super excited for it to be public and for people to listen to it and hear what people have got to say. Cause I am so proud of what we did. So proud. Should be. Aw. Well, that was fun. Okay. Um, so I'm probably going to, uh, break this up into multiple videos, seeing as this is being all like, stop, stop doing things. Um, I'm going to break this up into multiple videos, seeing as like that first video was kind of like skipping around. So, um, yeah, I'll just break this up into like three, four, five, six, six different videos and put them all together in the editor. That way there's a chance that like some of the recordings will be less choppy, I hope. Anyway, um, yeah. So part one that was fun that was a great intro like I'm, I'm pretty pumped to find out what else they have to say i've already i feel like i've already commented on like what i wanted to comment on though so let's go ahead and like move on to the next one um yeah okie dokie and here we are back with part two of the mayday in the making series documentary thingamabobber that is on the warnings channel let's hope that this recording is a little less skippy than the last one Alrighty, let's go 
part two, Mayday in the Making. Hello, Oops. I am Paulina Villarreal. I forgot to turn my volume up. Hello, I am Paulina Villarreal. Hi. I am 18 years old. I am the drummer for the band. What were y'all doing at 18 years old, okay? Like, what were you doing at 18 years old? And she's going to tell us she's like, what, 16 in a minute? Like, what were y'all doing at 18 years old? I certainly wasn't like being a drummer for a world-class band. That's for sure. That's for sure, for sure. Let's see what, what Ali has to say. Years old, I am the drummer for the band The Warning. My name is Alejandra Villarreal. I'm from Monterey, Mexico, and I'm the bass player for the band The Warning. I'm Daniela Villarreal. I am the guitar player and lead singer of The Warning. <laughs> so The Warning came to be in a very early stage of our lives. <laughs> we started playing classical piano at a very young age. I think I was six and Pau was around four. It was a family environment of music. We started playing the piano when we were very young. We started with like classical music. And then we bought this video game, Rock Band, <laughs> the Rock Band. The Rock Band. Rock Band. <laughs> <laughs> When we bought the game, that was the moment when we were like, hey, we want to do that. <laughs> we absolutely loved that video game. We played it all the time. Aww. I would just be like jumping around with my guitar. Pat would never let me play the drums because <laughs> that was her thing and she was super good at it. And I was just like, no. <laughs> when we bought the, the game, I noticed Paulina and she was like, but, but in, uh, like with so much coordination and I told her like, Look, look at Paulina. <laughs> but you need to take into account that I was like six years old at that time. My next week, Paulina was in lessons. No. The thing with Danny was she wanted the guitar because of the rock band. Mm -hmm. But we knew that it was going to be difficult for her because she was eight years old. I asked my dad if I could play the guitar and he was like, are you sure? And I was like, <laughs> yes. And he said, six months. And by the week, I wanted to give up. <laughs> but she kept her promise and by that time, she already started to love. I was about three when we got the rock band, so I didn't actually Aww. play. She was a baby. Aww. And it basically, when we were playing rock band, and I was clapping Aww. next to us. I picked the bass when I was about like six or seven, and I was like, ooh, I want to play that. I don't know what it is, but I want to play it. Aww. And when she started playing the bass, we started like thinking like, hey, these instruments, like we can play them together. We were like, oh these three instruments actually make up a band. Aww. So like, we can start playing together. We said like, why, why, we should play something together. It's like it all just fell into place, like accidentally on purpose, you know? That's so cool. That's so cool to think about how like they each just fell in love with different pieces of a band and it just so happened that they were good at it and it just so happened that they're sisters. Like, that's so cool how everything just, like, like, like the plan is just aligned for this to happen. Ah, that's like a once in a lifetime thing, isn't it? That's amazing. I'm gonna take it back like five seconds. I think I interrupted Danny there. We can start playing together. We said like, why? Why? We should play something together. Mm -hmm. And that was it. <laughs> we had no idea that we were gonna do what we're doing today like, at all. For us, That's the decision awesome. to upload videos on YouTube was just like, we're gonna send it to our grandparents, the file is too big, let's upload it on YouTube and send them the link. But suddenly they started getting a lot of attention. All of a sudden, it exploded. Our parents really reminded us that like this was for the music and we could use that to start writing our own music. I think that was something that, that caused such a huge change in us from just like, let's play for fun to like, whoa, we're a band now. Aww. Not That's everything awesome. comes comes without its sacrifices. It was tons, tons and tons and tons of practice. Suddenly, you're not just a normal little teenager who goes to school, does her homework. You're playing shows, you're playing in festivals, and you're playing in front of a lot of people. Something that maybe like a lot of people my age take for granted, like going to parties, going to school, even like people who like, oh my God, I need to wake up at like 6 a.m. and go to school every day, was something that like we couldn't do. And I appreciate the support of my parents and all that they had to go through to get us to this point, because for them, it, it was just as hard. As a parent, you never know which one is the right path. We wanted to support them. Like any parent, just try to give them what makes them happy. We usually compare it, what we're doing and what is happening, and what could have happened. 
but as we started playing more shows and as more people started to show up especially like an international level it was like that's where it really settled in like whoa like mm -hmm. this is for real we are so grateful that we have the opportunity to be playing these shows working this way writing music like all these opportunities don't happen to a lot of people thanks to all of that and all the sacrifice that we put through as a team and not only us but our parents and our management all everyone is just so incredible and i'm very grateful not only that we did it but that we we were able to overcome it <laughs> they're so sweet okay like they're just such kind people uh they're just really really sweet people aren't they these these young women they're just really really kind I love them so much. <laughs> They're just really great. I love listening to them talk. Like, it's more than just them talking about the passion for their music, but like the gratitude they have to even be able to make the music at such a grand scale they get to. And, and all the people who helped them get there, like, that's just really beautiful. And I love hearing it. I love hearing how much love is in their voice when they talk about it. It's just really heartwarming. Anyway, let's keep listening. We're coming. Ooh, okay. If we weren't in a band, if we weren't in music in, in general, music in general, because we always get out be? of that question, like, oh, it would be a song right now. <laughs> like, what would you do out of music? Honestly, I think I would be a teacher. A teacher. A teacher. No, <laughs> you would be such a good teacher. I think. A, a oh, thanks. Yeah. I I would like to write. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be a good you writer. You'd be a writer. I would have to do something creatively. I I couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, like a job office. Yeah. I, I, I honestly mm -hmm. have no idea. Couldn't see that. I think Something. you would be a good model. Ah! Sure? Um, yeah. Not really good at posing, but, you know, <laughs> you, you could work, model. I, I could work on that. You got the height, you got the face. <laughs> Aww. Aww, she would make a great model, though, wouldn't she? Oh, gosh, she's going to start playing ads again. Make it stop. Oh, that was fun. That was really fun. Oh, I liked that. Ah. Um, I'm not really sure what to comment other than what I've already commented. Like, uh, I just really like their, uh, uh, I just like their aura as people, you know, like everything about them is just so wholesome and sweet and add to that their talent and, and everything. And it's just, ah, uh, it's just really nice. I love seeing the, the journey. And this is, I, I understand that they're working, uh, that this documentary is about this one PE, uh, this one EP May Day, but like it seems like they're talking about like the band and like the history behind it, and that's pretty great too. I'm like, I, I love learning more about them. Um, I guess I'll get things set up for part three. Um, I think, yeah, I'll go ahead and get things set up for part three. See y'all in a minute. Do, 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 do. And we are back with part three of the Mayday in the Making. I think I'm going to go ahead and break this up into two videos. So I will release this in two parts, like parts one through three and then four through six. But I'll probably upload both of them tonight just to get her done. Alrighty, so let's jump into part three, the warning, Mayday in the Making. Part three, I've got the subtitle covered up with my phone, but let's jump into this. Let's go. Bye forgot to turn the volume up again. Whoopsie. All right, now let's go. Describe each other. Each other. Uh, okay, let's do powers. Creative. Outspoken. She's a spark. Mm -hmm. um, she can also be a bit loud. She <laughs> to the party. Energetic. A great drummer, great singer. She really drives what's happening. She's... She goes completely on passion. Pow is such a fan of music. Drummer, singer, writer, composer. Alpha, you know, right in your face. <laughs> but she's so lovable. I'm, I'm gonna take everything as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> you. How would I describe myself though? LA is so humble and so talented. She, she's technically incredible. She can hang with the best of them. Very bold. She's observant and very persistent. You are scary at times, but that is very useful. <laughs> Yo, Allie with the eye rolls. She's the most reserved, but to be honest, she may be the most animated. Aww. You, Danny, you're very organized. Older sister, protector, the same as she asks of herself, which is a lot, she asks of the team. Discipline, <laughs> persistent. She's a sweetheart. She's honestly super nice. Like, I don't know how she does it. She's the heart. Very, very passionate. She, she's a boss. Danny is a powerhouse front woman. I'm starting she... to get emotional the more they talk about them. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm starting to get a little emotional. Uh, I'm gonna take it back about five seconds.
Very, very passionate. She, she's a boss. Danny is a powerhouse front woman. I mean, she's up there with the top voices of female rockers. The beacon of yeah. light and the darkness. Oh my Aww. god, thank you guys. See? <laughs> so nice. And I got, Literally. I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs>Jumping from covers to like writing our own music was, I think it came very naturally. Pao has been writing songs since she was like, I don't know, maybe even five. Wow. We would be like, I don't know, making lemonade. She was like, making lemonade. Aww. Uh, we started writing as like a little experiment and our first EP was basically those little experiments. Aww. Our main focus for writing is rock and roll, but that doesn't mean that we don't listen or learn from any other genres. I listen to a lot of K-pop and I also listen to a lot of um, Japanese rock since it's so different. I listen to a lot of classical music, I listen to a lot of alternative music, I listen to a lot of K-pop. I love rock and roll for its energy and I wouldn't change that for our band, but it's great also to learn from all the different types of music that there's all around the world. Good. I really liked it. The chorus is really good and I think that one of the best things about this is that you put really quick melodies that go up and down very quickly and in like Korean language, like that works so well because they have like so many like syllables. <laughs> God, it's so Creatively, it's all them. The way they work is they start writing and composing, and then they get together, then they rehearse, and they don't show us anything. As for what we speak about in our songs, well, most of the times they come from Pao's brain, and we're just like, that's genius, and we kind of tweak it out and make the song appropriate to that feeling that we're talking about. So I usually just sit on the piano, and I just play something until something comes out. And then I show Danny and Ali the song. I try to pitch it as best as I can. So they're like, oh my God, that's a great song. Aww. Let's work on it. Pao's the one who has like that muscle, that creativity to just like whoo, create little words out of nowhere. We start working on it. We start adding the drums, the guitars, the bass, and we're all very involved in that process. And it's really fun because I know I play the bass, but I don't do my bass parts alone. Like, Paul helps me and Danny helps me and it's the same for the drums, the vocals, and the guitars. Since we are yeah. very, very... That's cool to think about that it's like, even though they each have their own instruments, it's like a collaborative effort between the three of them. That's really cool. It makes it very um, symbiotic, I guess. It would be a fancy word I could use, but like everything just goes together like very cohesively. Uh, that's so beautiful to think about that it's like more of a group project than like individuals bringing they're different you know pieces to the table it's like multiple cooks in the kitchen cooking at once I guess would be a fun metaphor for it y'all I'm sleepy but <laughs> I'm uh, but I'm still loving this okay I'm just having trouble finding some words because I'm like extra sleepy today but yeah like I'm really loving the way they're describing their process it's really cool I like that that might be the title the subtitle of this particular episode it's kind of ringing a bell I don't know for sure. I don't remember. But um, yeah, I took it back like five seconds. So let's keep listening. But yeah, I love hearing about that, like how they're working together on that with every little step of the way they work together on it. That's so super cool. Anyway, let's keep going. Helps me and it's the same for the drums, the vocals, and the guitars. Since we are very, very opinionated, we like to be in each and every part of the process. <laughs> we're doing bass lines, we're all there. Each second wow. is important. We're all very involved in every part of the process, which I think makes every song unique. And it sounds like us. Honestly, we get along so well, but the only moments where we have like fights is when we're ready. Because <laughs> we have such different opinions about what a song should be. It's up to votes. Two people, you win. Yeah. We work really, really well because we have this uh, honesty to our communication. We do have like that clear line between like bandmates and sisters. You need to look at it as like what's best for the band and not like, oh my God, like you're turning your back on me. Like I'm your sister. No, 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 like we're working. Seeing them in the studio interact as bandmates and as sisters was really cool. It's just such a deeper level of connection. They know exactly what they need to do to support each other in all situations when someone's cutting a vocal when someone's cutting a guitar like if it's going well or if there's hesitation there's just like that sister connection was so cool to see that level of support That's they're awesome. sisters uh, i don't know i don't know how else to put it it's like obvious that they're sisters that they have each other's back they finish each other's sentences or, or they say the same thing at the same time when you're in a band it's like you can break up if this band were to disband like they're still gonna be sisters. And no matter how heated or, you know, how 
big of a deal any of this is to any of us, I don't think it's more important than their family to them. Aww. I'm so glad that we started writing our own music because there's like nothing that I love more. That's what we like doing the most, you know, inspiring people with our own music. And I have found out that my like comfort zone is writing from the heart. It's literally, if I'm feeling a very strong emotion, the song comes out. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. I love that. Uh, that was, ah, I'm really enjoying that. Uh, it was called The Process, I guess, right. Awesome. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end uh, this video here with uh, part three, and then I will go ahead and set up for parts four through six for the next video. So uh, I'll, I'll like publish that right after this one that I'm recording now um, with parts four through six. But man, that's uh, pretty great so far. What's uh, This one's called Entering the Rock World, part four. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'll record that in about uh, half an hour from now. And it'll, it'll be uploaded pretty shortly after this video will upload that I'm recording right now. Um, but I'm really loving this. I'm getting a little bit of backstory. But mostly what I love about it is like not just like history of how the band has progressed, but like how the girls feel keep calling them girls how the you get these young ladies feel about it and like what it felt like from their perspective like that's the insight i'm really enjoying listening to because like first of all i just think they're really wonderful people and second of all i'm just very interested in them as people because they're such wonderful people and third of all i'm just curious okay like i'm just curious like specifically from their perspective as people that i admire like i want to hear like how the success has like made them feel and like what the process was like getting to that point how how that felt along the way and it's just really wonderful to see and i there are moments that i just i, I feel myself choking up a little bit and then they move then they switch topics and then it you know goes back down but then they pick up another topic that makes me kind of like feel a little bit of emotion again and then they switch topics so i'm like i'm going on a little bit of an emotional roller coaster right now it's very interesting um but yeah i'm looking forward to the next three parts so i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here so i'm gonna do the outro and then uh I'll see y'all in the next video. Yeah, so uh, see y'all in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>